Hello everyone, and welcome back to one of Let's Play's Blind Edition. Today, I'm going to be playing some space, uh, space Station Silicon Valley for the N64 for the first time. Uh, as that's like the whole layout, you know, to one of Let's Play's Blind Edition. It's just I play a game for, that I've never played before for a couple of minutes and show you my reactions, mainly for filler content. I have no idea what this is like at all. I think I remember playing this around a friend once. But um, I only played it for literally a couple of minutes and didn't get actually get the main idea of what the game's about. But I found it in a game store the other day, picked it up, and I'm going to see what it's like. Okay, that was the plot. Okay, fair enough. I like it was as gibberish language as well, much like Banjo Kazooie. It reminds me more of like the aliens from Space Channel 5. Um Okay, I think these are all the save files, Nat. This one looks like it's complete, so whoever owned this has 100 percent the game. Congrats to you! I don't know who that was, but well done. Um, I'm gonna have to delete one of them though. Just, I don't know. I usually like going for the second file or something like that, so I reckon, yeah, I'm just gonna go for this one as they have like a delete option down here. That's nice. Cool. So let's just start a new game then with this one right here.
Oh wait, we're in the game now. Okay, that was a really weird opening right there, but I absolutely love this game already. <laughs> I love me some weird games. Sh smashing start. Um, let's see what it's saying. Sheesh, what a landing. Evo, do as I say and we might just get out of this mess alive. Oh, and if we're going to repair you, we'll need as many of those purple power cells as possible. Okay, so my tasks then are pretty much get some energy and get me a, a sheep. Really? Well, apparently I'm in love with a sheep, so that's kind of strange. <laughs> a bit of a weird love story going on back there, but still. Um, I have no idea what the gameplay's like, though, even though I'm playing it right now, I suppose. It's pretty much, from the looks of it, some sort of, like, collectathon. And by the looks of it, and that... I'm guessing, like, you, we have to do something, like, with our ship, like, maybe repair it? If anything, honestly, it's very similar to Toe Jam and Earl for the Sega Mega Drive, which I actually should do a one-off on that sometime, since that's a really good Mega Drive game, as that's really, really weird. That game sums up the 90s in general, if you ask me. Because, you know, on that one, you have to find parts to repair your rocket ship and stuff like that. Maybe it's the same here? But I don't know, really. Well, so there's a sheep over there, so what can I do? I can press, like, B to attack and stuff, can I? Okay, that's fine, but I mean, I'd rather, like, look around and see what else there is, since, you know, this is a... This is a platform, I like to explore and stuff like that. So there's a television over here. What does this do? Wait, what? What is going on? What? Type dog. Oh, it's a dog! Really? Environment? Um... Europe? Okay, I can jump, I can bite attack, water resistance, excellent, to mass, medium, Jesus, these are a lot of stats. Okay, it's armor is light, it's strength is medium. So much to take in, man! Oh my god, I'm guessing like this is a thing that you need uh, to remember or so, depending on what he does. So, if his water resistance is excellent, then that means then that, uh, you know, if he goes into water and that, he's obviously not going to die or anything. That's So it's some sort of, like, way where you can know what weaknesses the characters have. What's this? Evo, is that you? Listen, it's your favourite tune. What? What do you mean? What? <laughs> they literally turn up the music, oh my god. Oh wow, I actually do like the soundtrack a little bit. <laughs> it's so pretty silly and stuff like that, but still. This is such a weird game so far, but I really love this. This is just amazing. Except I honestly did not think this was a dog, I will be honest. I thought it was sort of like a, sh a sheep that was a bit yellow. Either that or I'm just not very good at looking at stuff. If anything, well, I know it's a dog, it looks a bit like Gromit from Wallace and Gromit, come to think of it, but just yellowified. <laughs> at least on my TV, anyway. It's probably uh, less colours than that when you're looking at it on YouTube and stuff, because, I don't know, my telly has like a weird contrast system, if you ask me, but still. Um, cool. So, apparently I can fight with the B button. What? What's this? Finish my missions first, ship. Okay, fair enough. So I got some energy. Um, do I... Let's see, oh wait, there's another thing over here, is there? So I just need to collect stuff and things like that, I guess. Uh, so let's see, if I can just, like... I can attack the sheep, okay, I'll try that. What? No, 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 I don't want to read the briefing. I, I know I know how to dog, alright? Um, let's see. I'll, I'll go for one then, which is a bit closer or so, so it's away from the television screen. Alright, let's just bite this a couple of times. Wait, is it actually doing anything? I think it is. Use the R button to transfer Evo in, into a deactivated animal. Wait, really? What? What the hell? I'm in, I'm in possession of a sheep. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's a floaty hop, a bar for like the skill B. Water resistance is okay. Mass is medium, light, weak. Average, medium, medium. Bio for engine, very low. Okay, objective complete. You got a sheep. Um, cool. So, teleporter active. Okay, right. But, uh, just to be sure, I'm going to pause and see if that is everything. Yeah, it is. But it looks at it, because also those things I collected, looks like I've got all of them, so... I, I take it over 100% of this area. Uh, that's obviously not bad, and it has a floaty jump, does it? This is such a bloody mucked up game. Really, really awesome. Anyway, let's just go in and then finish this mission, I guess. That wasn't too bad for a first mission. It wasn't really that hard to get used to things. It just gets you, gives you the idea of what to expect later on. I get the feeling though that this gets much weirder later on. 
Also, that guy reminds me of uh, Eustace from Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's the glasses and the attitude, possibly. So I just did that one. The one I did before was Smash and Start, okay. And I guess we're gonna go on to the next one then, I suppose. Oi! Hungry sheep are on the loose. Round them up. Fast. Use the electric fence to keep them in their pen. Hey, the scanner shows a mouse with wheels in this zone. Use it to reach the exit. Okay, so get four sheep into the pen and uh, find the mouse with wheels. The mouse with wheels. Okay, right. <laughs> Goodness me, man. Also appears to be like some sort of the same area as well. Can I go? All right, okay, so that basically just means like it's loading or something. So I can take possession of the sheep and that as well, right? If I'm confused though, can I like pause and look at the mission briefing? Yeah, I can. Okay, so get four sheep into the pen and... Right, okay, and I'm guessing that's the pen over there, isn't it? Oh my, um, it's electronic. I don't really want to uh, electrify the sheep. <laughs> what I would like to do is drag you into here. There you go. Just like this. Reminds me of that, like, certain point that you have to do in Jack and Daxter, honestly. Unless maybe I could just bite them and then just take possession and drag them in there myself. You know, I, I might just do that just to make things a bit easier for me. I think. Can I at least? Yeah, there we go. Does it like literally die as soon as you get out of it? I think it does. Like, are we taking like possession of <laughs> freaking corpses or something? I have no idea. Oh, and I can control this thing as well. So it just walked around like this then, does it? And then I can just go back into this guy, right? That's actually a really, really cool mechanic. <laughs> anyway, let's go see where those uh, um, other bits of sheep are. Let's see, there's, there's one over there, fair enough. And there's also these orbs again. Um, what I should do then is bite the sheep <laughs> and take possession of it in order to put it inside of the thing and stuff like that. That's fair enough. So the little bug in that reminds me of when you're a termite in Banjo-Kazooie on uh, Mumbo's Mountain and stuff, because, you know, just the way it crawls and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, was this game made by Rareware? I feel like it is a game made by freaking what Rareware with this sort of stuff going on. Because, I mean, they made Conker's Bad Fur Day as well, don't forget that. Um, wait, did I... I, I don't know, was I supposed to... That, that one sheep lives at the minute, I suppose. Well, I'll just put in the other one and see what happens then. Although, after all that, I might have actually had to, um... What's it? You know, just keep all the sheep alive and then put them in... I don't even know, man. I'm just, like, learning things along the way, really. I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this for either. I'm just going to be playing some Space Station Silicon Valley and just sort of getting the hang of things, I guess. Alright, cool. So, let's see. Because, I mean, like, before that, you know, when I saw the cutscene, I'm pretty sure the dog got, like, killed by the rocket. So, that was strange. A bit of a strange love story as well going on right there. Oh, that's a flower. Fair enough. Okay. There's the other sheep. Fair enough. Is there a way where I can just like guide them or something like from Oddworld? That would be useful. But if I had to possess them, fair enough. Also, what? Did you just jump in the water? Um, no it didn't. That's fair enough. Okay, can I jump? Uh, no I can't. Fair enough. But I can at least go back and then get the sheep and bring him back to where he is. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel extremely awkward talking about all this, like, the commentary and stuff, you know. It's, don't activate that and kill yourself. Alright, cool, so now what, do I just do that? Yeah, there we go. Sheep secured, even though two of them are pretty much dead. Or at least malfunctioned, because, you know, sparks are coming out of them. <laughs> but still. But, you know, it's like when I did, like, an LP of Earthworm Jim and stuff like that. That was, um, occasionally a bit strange to commentate as well, especially when you fight Major Mucus, this bloody monstrous ball of snot that dangles on his bogey lines and tries to kill you. <laughs> Sounds weird even saying it now. It was quite a while back, actually, since I did an LP of Earthworm Jim. So if you want <laughs> a bloody entertainment of, like, a bloody weird game or something, just look at that if you want, because Earthworm Jim is a very, very, very strange game. <laughs> um... Not one of the weirdest games I've ever played, though. One of the weirdest games I've ever played in my life probably has to be Space Channel 5. <laughs> Although that game is just amazing for the Dreamcast. I plan to show it off as a one-off one day. What's, what's this sign for? Is that for anything? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Wait a minute! Oh, damn it! I'm supposed to use the sheep in order to use the floats and stuff, aren't I? In order to get them back. Alright, uh, what I shall do then is get at least the one that's alive. 
Actually, you know what? I can get the one that's dead, can't I? Yeah, I, I, I can just do that. Can I just jump over this as well? I can! Alright, cool, fine. Okay, sheep. Let's go and get the thing. Does, does like, the mission still count or so when I go to it? Let's have a look. Yeah. So, I put four of them in. I don't even need them in there now in the first place. That's fair enough. Okay, here we go. Now let's just float on the way down. Whoa, that was actually some weird floating mechanics going on there. So just kind of... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't... What? What is... What? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's just try it over here then. Even though... Look at its legs. They look like steaks or something. That's kind of cute. Oh, well. Let's see. Uh, oh! Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to do it there, aren't I? I think, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, really. Um... Let's see, I can bar or bleat, shall I say. I'm pretty sure that's like the word that it is, because from playing Sheepdog and Wolf, uh, when you become a sheep in that game, you, um, what's it, they called it bleat, and that for like the action command, I think. Oh, boy. Okay, see you guys in a bit. This is taking a while just to backtrack. Wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just have to float like that in order to get it. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best. There we go. Right. So, um, I forgot. What was my briefing off this one? It was... Uh, find the mouse with wheels, of course. Sure. I don't know if I have to be the dog for this, though. I might probably remain as the dog, but the sheep's kind of cool. That it could just defy the laws of physics and gravity, really. Who would have thought that sheep would do this? Like, this game is pretty educational, you know, for, like, creatures and stuff. Now I've been taught that apparently sheep are really floaty, so if I ever jump off a building, as long as I have a sheep with me, I will be fine. <laughs> and the same, like, with a dog. Apparently my dog can, if he bites a sheep, take possession and become a sheep. So if I'm tired of the dog one day, I can make it turn into, like, a sheep. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. This game has already driven me insane, and I've only been playing it for 18 minutes so far. Also, there is a dog that attacks me right there. I thought we were in love. We had something special, didn't we? I suppose that was another version of you, but still. Um. Okay, then. I have to become the dog in order to <laughs> get past that, I suppose. Because, I mean, the sheep doesn't look like it can attack, and I've lost a bit of health, actually. Oh, boy. So... Let's just go all the way back to where the dog is. Look at these bloody physics, like the floating and stuff. Oh my god. I was gonna just say, like, its wool is really shiny. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be a robot or something, I suppose, given the fact they have sparks coming out of them, but still. I know, it's just fine, a bit strange. There we go, now I can walk a little bit faster this time, because the sheep was... Hello, can I kill you? Yeah, I can, cool, so I can take possession of you as well. Um, I, I think, anyway. Actually, I want to be a bit careful. Never mind, I might as well just ignore you then. <laughs> because you just look like trouble, I'm afraid. Never mind, though. It's just a dog attacking a dog for some reason. Alright. I like how they also have, like, speakers over here as well. Like, is there, like, in each area where you can go to a certain place and it turns up the music? <gasps> For you! Oh my god, this dog is actually on my tail, like, so bad right now. He looks like he's going to kill me. I need to be a bit careful, because I am really low of health. And can he get on top of here? I don't think he can. Wow, okay, I'm actually pretty petrified right about now. Uh, is that a finish line? Yeah, it's a finish line, okay. Um, but the dog is still chasing me. Jesus Christ, um, I want to fight Bag, but I kind of don't, because then I might accidentally get myself killed, because he looks like he does more damage than me or something, I don't even know. Ah, uh, let's see, what's in here? Is that a mouse with wheels? It's a mouse, and I didn't find the wheels, and I just died. <laughs> oh man, really? Wait, do I have to do all this again? Oh wait. <laughs> wait. That's your punishment for, like, failing? You just get that? That is so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it all again. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in a bit when I cut ahead to where I got to last. Let's see if I can actually take out the dog this time. Okay, that didn't take as long as I fought and stuff like that, but we're back now. Hopefully I won't die this time. 
So I really don't know if I can take out that dog. Uh, let's see. So it's got like a sign here. Is there a way to read? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. What does this do? Oh, this just zooms in when I press down. Let me know, this zooms in quite far, actually, for an N64 game. I don't know when this came out, though. It said it on the title screen, but I wasn't really paying attention, so that's a shame. Wait a minute, there's a television over there. Uh, what can I do? What can I do with that dog over there? Hmm? Can the television tell me? The television surely must have the answers. Let's have a look. <laughs> you can learn so much by just watching television. Okay, let's see. Environment, Europe. You can jump. Fight attack, water resistance, excellent. So it looks like they're all the same, if you ask me. So never mind. Um, I really don't know then if I can take out the dog. Because <laughs> it looks way stronger than me and I'm quite terrified of the dog. But let's just pick up this mouse. Let's see, it's a mouse. Wait, I, I, I thought I picked it up, didn't I? Mouse with wheels. Okay, so I need to find the wheels now? Is that right? I don't know. Uh, which way is that thing going? It looks like it doesn't get... Uh, but, you know, go to me and that if I don't pester it or so, like a wasp or something like that, I suppose, or even a bee, still. Um, let's see. Ah, some platforming. I see. Oh, uh, ha. I think I need to be the sheep for this one, don't I? In order to float. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Everything just magically floats. For no freaking reason. Like, science doesn't give a crap or something. <laughs> oh, how, how in the hell is what? I, I really don't know how the hell that happens, but never mind. Why am I even questioning it when, I, I, when I've when i just become a dog and I've taken, like, possession of a sheep? <laughs> I shouldn't really be questioning that, really. Alright, um... So, let's see, where is this mouse's wheels, then? Is it in, like, one of these little houses or something? I assume it is. I was gonna say, if I can't walk up there, that's rather strange. Uh... Where's the wheels? I found the mouse, but I have no wheels. Except, wait, is that all of these things? No, it's not quite. We've got three more of them left. There is a lot of stuff in this area, man. My god. Alright, uh... Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, hang on. I can hit the thing and it causes stuff to fall out. So we're making the marks. Alright. Uh, let's see. Whoa! Okay, what is that to do now? Aha! There we go. Now I can take possession of it. Um, what does it do? It looks like it does the same things. Um, oh no, 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 I'm an idiot. What the hell am I doing? I need to do that. There we go. Right. R button. Ah! Racing mouse. <laughs> Skill A. Speed boost. Okay. Skill B. Tail attack. Water resistance poor. Mass tiny. Strength light. Strength weak. Uh, sorry. I've completely lost it. This is all too much for me, really. <laughs> But, um, the important thing is that I know that it's, it can't really go through water, except, wow, this is a lot faster, and apparently if I hold down A, it does, like, a speed boost? What? Teleporter active. Oh, oh, right, okay. So these are pretty much small, uh, mission briefs, really, but um, they get harder along the way. I actually don't mind this, even though this is really strange. Oh my god, this mouse is, like, the fastest thing in existence. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I see, and that... It has like a little gauge below it, like the blue and green. The green is the health and the blue is like the meter, I suppose, for magic. Even though it's not really magic, but I'm just going to call it that, really. Um, right, so how many of these things? One. Fine. <laughs> uh, I can't go through water either. That's going to instantly kill me, given the fact that they told me it's weak. So I am not even going to risk that. So now my guess is I need to become the sheep in order to get through. This is a really weird game where you take possession of animals. At least animals' corpses, anyway, which are apparently in the form of robots. Either that, or maybe I've just got the whole plot completely wrong. I was going to say, if I can't touch that, that's a real shame. Okay, sheep. <laughs> Let's just go on home, shall we? Hey. As I've been playing this game for half an hour now. Except, like, that's uh, a lot of it is cut down, mainly. I don't know if I should do another level after this, though. Um... I guess I shall have a look to see what it looks like, and if it's just the same area, like, in this sort of, you know, green, sort of, wood-like place, I suppose, then I'll probably call it off there or so, since I don't really want to be here for too long. So this game has taken me by surprise, this is just, it's quite unique, the gameplay as well, I will be honest. <laughs> like, it's weird to call, like, this kind of game unique, really. 
I don't want to go inside the uh, teleporter just yet though, because we have one more of these things. And there we go, that's all the minute. Yep, there we go, it's 100% there, 100% of the area. Let's just teleport out of here now that we have saved the day by taking possession of a mouse with wheels. <laughs> well, that is a really strange tree. What are you going to say? You're not going to say anything, are you? Fair enough, fine. Honeymoon Lagoon! That's a rather charming place. Um, let's see. Let's just have a look at the mission briefing, I suppose. Uh, the electric fence is linked to the big machine. Play around a bit and see what happens. Oh yeah, and bring me back something soft and fluffy to hug. <laughs> okay, right. On it. Okay, so let's see, we gotta do all that then, have we? Well, let's just have a sneak peek, see what it looks like, and it's the same wood-like area, but I don't know if this is going to like, take a while or anything like that, really. Except I am a mouse, so maybe it shouldn't take as long, as I'm currently at like 31 minutes, even though it took me like 5 minutes or so in order to get this far. I don't know, man, I, I don't know. I don't know whether to stop or whether to continue. I'm kind of curious though, so I may continue. I apologize if this is long, but this is what happens when it comes to doing one-off Let's Plays Blind Edition. I don't know when to stop, really. Also, let's see, there's a bit of energy over here. Right, cool, so I can't go through water because I'm too weak, fair enough, but I can probably do a speed boost over the top of that, right? I don't really need to see the TV because I know how the mouse works. That's an electric fence, if I go in there, I'm gonna die. So, yeah, my only option then is to speed boost over this bit, right? So, let's go! Huh, that was alright then. Cool. Alright, let's see what else we have. We have this, which I can't get past. Oh. So, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go that way on this. Maybe I need to do a speed boost here, I suppose? No, not really. That just deflects me. I'm actually surprised I didn't really kill it. Uh, if I just... I think I've screwed this up because I don't think I can get back without not going into the water. Oh, I, I can go through the water at least a bit, so that's okay. Uh, right. Is there anything to possess, like, in this area at all? Let me have a look around and see if I can find any animal or something. Can I jump at least? It doesn't look like I can, to be honest. Can I at least fit under here? I don't know, can I? Uh, no, that electrifies me. Um... <gasps> There's a secret up here! Alright, let's have a look. So I need to go all the way up here. Wow, this is a really weird perspective. Oh, and I need to go through the ring, right? Which probably disables the laser. So, let's go! Okay, never mind. You could just magically fall off. That's fair enough. Cool. Uh, so now, go! Wait. Ah! Uh whole 2D perspective is a bit strange, really. I'll get used to it, though, I'm sure. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Okay, let's go. Let's hug the wall this time. There we go. So now what? So we've gone through that. Hum. There's a bit over there, which I now need to get. But I don't think I can, because I need to go up the, the thing? I, think. I don't know. Let me just go to the telly, just to be sure. Television, educate my stats, please. Okay, raise a mouse. Uh, environment, Europe. Speed boost. Wait, no, I didn't want to quit. I just wanted to speed up the deck. Uh, I have to, like, literally write the whole thing, really. Watch the telly, mouse. Alright. Type, raise a mouse. Environment, Europe. Skill A, speed boost. Uh, skill B, tail attack. Water resistance 4. Mass tiny. Marmalite. Marmalite. <laughs> Strain. Weak. High. Full distance. Medium. Right, okay. Um. Cool. So. Uh, how do I even do this? Oh my god, I'm a fing idiot. <laughs> there is a ramp right here. No! Alright, now let's just deactivate everything. If I can, that is. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Second one. There we go, right. Okay, is that all of them? One more. Right. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So now what's it gonna do? It's gonna do this, and now... What? Oh, it's bringing out all these things. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing now I have to go into the thing. Yeah, so I deactivated the big machine. Right, okay. 
And let's see, it's going to activate these switches. Okay. As long as I can get on top of the thing and grab... Yeah, there we go. And maybe this deactivates the gate. I think. Uh, is that all of them? No, it isn't. Okay. Let's maybe have to do it fast. I think I do. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, you deactivated the electric fence. Oh, cool. Good. So now then I can easily... Uh, get past everything. Right, so the electric fence was over there, and now we can continue and get the ring and stuff. This is really cool. <laughs> I haven't actually taken possession of anything in this area, really. It's just clever thinking, really, that you think about all the puzzles and how to solve stuff. It's one that, you know, you're pretty much plonked there. You are given a mission briefing, but they don't tell you exactly what to do. Like, hmm, that machine over there looks suspicious. You know, there's none of that stuff going on. That, and obviously voice acting, because I couldn't rehandle it for the N64's cartridge space, but still. I assume this game came out in the 90s? It looks like a sort of 90s game, or maybe an early 2000s, as this definitely does not feel like a late N64 game. Why the hell did I do that? I forgot the mouse couldn't attack. Oh my god. Well, that's just wonderful. I have to redo the entire thing again. Do I? Well, at least now I get some idea of what the hell I'm supposed to do. Um, let's give us another shot. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, I do not want to fool in there. But, yeah, I'm back now. Uh, let's see. So, avoiding that guy. Possibly. Unless maybe I have to attack them or something. But can I at least possess something that's already dead? So that then I'm not likely to die or anything like that. The answer is, I do not know, but I'm just going to be a little bit cautious on the way up. Also, what? Alright, that's just a flower, fair enough. I thought it was something I can, like, take over or something like that. Like, I suppose it's not really possessing, but to me it is, I guess. It just makes it easier to say, really. Uh, yeah, it looks like I can. I need to probably jump into something, maybe? I don't know. I can become sheep. I don't know if that works, though. Uh, okay, I'm going to perform at least one tail attack on the dude just to see if I can do it. The answer is... No, I can't, and I'm dead again. Oh my god, man. I reckon I'm honestly gonna cool it off here or so since I've been playing this for a while. Um, because I've been playing this for like nearly 45 minutes straight and I'm kind of, I'm getting a little tired, okay? It's a good game though, I do recommend this. So, yeah, we're gonna end things right here, right now. This has been one of Let's Plays, uh, Let's Plays, brilliant. One of Let's Plays, blind edition of, uh, Space Station Silicon Valley for the N64. A pretty cool game. A bit weird, but I like weird games, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> if you like it, pick it up for the N64, as I don't think it's on Virtual Console or anything like that. The only way you can play it, really, is on the original cartridge, on the original system, so have fun if you see it and you have one, and stuff like that. So take care guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video of Space Station Silicon Valley, and I'll see you in more videos that I have to make. <laughs> I have the strangest outros ever, because there's like no sequence or anything.